welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you and today I'm gonna be sharing five reasons why I'm happy I moved to Tennessee so we are gonna get started if you do like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel because I post marriage college fashion content on here and without further ado let's just jump right on into this video so reason number one I very well could have been and was starting to get stuck in a rut in 2019 I definitely was enjoying all that I was doing don't get me wrong there I was going to school at a Bible college I was leading youth ministry with my then boyfriend now husband at the time and those are all good things but there were times where I would just sit there and be like so once I graduate college I'm just gonna be doing this for the rest of my life is that really what is gonna be going on I didn't have a lot of hopes or dreams past what I was already doing if that makes sense looking back on it now there are many people that I grew up with that I'm still friends with to this day that have been stuck in a rut where they spend their entire life just going to school or working and there's no dreams or anything past that which I wouldn't say that Tennessee will fix that for you because obviously that's your choice but for me I believe Knoxville where I'm at now is a city of drive people just have goals and dreams and they're just running after them and I feel like the city that I was from was very stuck in your ways you worked whatever job you had for 30 years or whatever and I just don't really not my vibe if that makes sense so I'm not saying that Tennessee is the answer for that but for me personally I'm happy I moved here because I was able to get out of that rut and try new things number two Tennessee is so affordable for me and my husband and honestly I think if we would have stayed there we either one would have had to wait to get married later because we had to save money or two we would be married and we just be living paycheck to paycheck because it's just not affordable in the area that we were from in California at all so I'm really glad that we did move here when we did because we are able to live off of he works full-time I work part-time and we're able to live off that fine and we are paying for my school I don't have any student loans or anything which is amazing we are so blessed I'm not saying this to brag but we're so blessed to be in the situation that we are right now to where I can go to school and we can still live comfortably and I don't think any of that would have been possible had we stayed in California number three and this is really far ahead but this area is where we'd want to start a family one day and Alec and I have talked about this just for future reference especially when it comes to kids going to school because I'd much rather I don't know if we're gonna homeschool our kids or put them in public or private school we don't really know that yet but I would much rather them be going to school in a state or even a county that has the same values as you because I feel like it's so conflicting for a child when their home maybe has Christian values but at school doesn't and that's just I feel like really hard so it's nice living here to have a school that has same values as me and Alec would as parents so personally for us that's really important to us even outside of kids going to school I feel like the city that we live in is very family centered so our future kids and us would be able to make friends I feel like pretty easily just being involved in the community because I feel like there's so many families in this area for future family purposes I think Tennessee is going to be great for us even though that doesn't affect us right now number four is we have a god-given purpose here and if you don't know me or my little story at all i grew up in church grew up in my homeschooled life private school and youth group all of those things but i hated most when people in those spheres 
would say they lived for God or identified as a Christian, but their life did not line up to what they were saying at all. Very big pet peeve of mine. And what I've learned about the South now that I've been here for almost two years is that it is a very religion-based area. So most people identify, I guess, as a Christian because they feel obligated. Not that this is a generalization, let me clarify. There are true Christians here, but there are some people that I've met that just say they're Christians and there's nothing to back up what they're saying based off of how they live their life. So for me personally, and even for my family, I feel that all that I experienced and went through growing up as a kid and teenager is preparing me for the area that I live in now. So I feel like it was all God orchestrated, just like God does that sometimes. So I am very excited for one day, sometime soon when we start ministry here in Tennessee, Alec and I, for us to be able to minister to people in that sphere. Number five, these are two little things that I'm happy about. And the first little thing is the weather. And as random as that is, because I only really like warm weather, I love how beautiful this state is. It's just so green. If you follow me on Instagram, a lot of my Instagram pictures are so green because that's what it looks like outside. And not only is it all green and beautiful, but the seasons here are so unmatched and I've never experienced anything like it. They're very intense, I would say, but it's like a good intense. Like, you know, this is summer and this is fall. Whereas in California, the seasons just kind of flow together. So I really appreciate the weather. The other thing in number five is I appreciate the new friends, which I know anywhere that you move to, you're going to make new friends. But I feel like the ones that I've made here do have the same values as me and they do love the Lord so they can encourage and uplift me in that. And that is so helpful and so needed. I feel like that is just really important to me. So that's something that I really appreciate. So I guess there's six things, but I felt like those weren't big enough to be their own. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me, cause I love to do those for you. And I will see you guys next Friday. Bye guys. Just how it goes Maybe there's parts of you